This video will demonstrate the Modicon M340 PLC used as a pump controller with a Proface HMI utilizing their newer Blue HMI software. In this case, I can see I have a three pump system here with lag, lead lag, lag lag. I can change the mode very easily by coming into the system here and going into mode selection. I have lead lag, lead lag, lag lag, lead lag standby, and a simple pump down configuration, whereas when the lead pump turns on, or the level gets higher, the speed of the AC drive goes up. Uh, in this case, uh, we can choose those same three modes, but with a PI function block with set point for a certain level. So if I change it to a lead lag, I can go back to process and see it's lead lag here. If I go back to my system and go back to lead lag stand, or lead lag lag lag, go into the process. Here's lead lag lag lag. Under the pump selection, I can select any different sequence that I want. In normal operation, I have lead, lag, 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 and I can actually see here, shut this down, as the level gets up, the speed will increase to 60 hertz for the drive. When 60 hertz comes, the lead will turn on. I go a little bit past that, the wet well keeps on getting higher, the lag comes on, and if the well keeps on rising, the lag, lag will come on. As the speed, as the level starts coming down, you can see as it gets past the lead turn on, the speed starts turning down, and it will the lag lag will turn off at the set point that I chose. And then the lag will turn off. And then finally the lead will turn off. And when that happens, you can see that it actually changed sequence here. And it, it alternates through when, when the, all pumps turn off, it automatically does a sequence for me. Part of this is I can actually also have a sequencer where I come in and I can do an automatic alternation after a cer certain amount of hours I can enable, where I can do an auto DRAG. And DRAG is simply uh, every uh, X number of hours that I program in here, the pumps will all stop and the pumps will uh, go in reverse at a pre-programmed speed and uh, kind of declog the pumps from anything that will be on it and then it'll go forward after that. So the setup of the system is pretty simple. I commit to the system and uh, I can look at all my digital I.O. I need to know that the pump is in auto mode. I need to know it's running after I gave it a command and if there's a fault that will inhibit it as well. On the outputs, I simply either I run forward for normal mode or I can run the pump in reverse for a DRAG mode. When I come back to my system here, I set up the analog inputs. I have three analog inputs configured in the system. Analog input one is set for four to 20 for a transducer. Analog input two is set for zero to 10, or in our case, I actually have it in simulation mode where I selected here. And you can see that my uh, min to max range here, I set at 1.5. So if I come in here and set this to a value of two, and I set this to 25, and I go back to my process, because I'm in simulation, the wet well goes from two to 25. If I go back to the system, my analog inputs here, and choose analog input two, the setting of the wet well based on how I configure here, 1.2 to 15.7 shows up. And if I come back here to my uh, analog inputs and I choose it from my simulation mode, the analog inputs are all set here. I come into my system, my analog outputs, I want to match these with what the AC drive is. So with the, the low speed output of here, a lot of times you have a min speed of the drive. I set that equal to min speed of the drive. And I set this to the max speed of the drive, and that way it'll line up with the actual speed with which is going out of the controller here. So the next thing that we're looking at is DRAG control. So DRAG, uh, let me start the pump here first. So in this case, let me get the pumps running. So I have a lead, and I have all three on. 
So if I go into my DRAG, I, I can't put it in automatic mode, but I can also come in here manually. But I can see here, this is the start stop time that I allow the drive. A lot of times you'll have it around 30 seconds to, uh, if I'm gonna initiate a DRAG, you need to stop the drives before I put them in reverse. So, but for demonstration purposes, I'll leave that at 10 seconds. And um, the DRAG time, this is uh, how much time I'm actually gonna be running it in reverse. And this is the speed that I actually wanna run the DRAG in. So right now I can see my process. I'm going at 60 hertz. All three pumps are running. If I come back into my DRAG, and if I hit the uh, manual DRAG, and I select which pump I want to DRAG, pump one, and I hit run, I can see it's counting up where it's actually DRAG into that 10 seconds. It stopped all the pumps. I can see here the flashing that I'm actually in DRAG mode. After that first 10 seconds, the pump one I selected turns on. This will run for 10 seconds, and then it'll run for an additional 10 seconds based on how we configured it uh, for operation. And then the DRAG will turn off, and then any pumps based on the level will actually turn on at that point. So we'll wait for this to stop. And in that case, all three pumps are still on and running, and, and they start ramping up. So um, the other part of the system here is we have to do our call to run set points. And this is where I simply put the level in for my lead on, lag on, lag, lag on, and then my offset points. I do have an initial uh, value here, level at minimum speed. So the green here would be my low speed to high speed settings. In this case, 30 hertz to 60 hertz for the drive. Uh, I will post these applications with Blue and a link to download the Blue download files in the M340 on the YouTube site. Just go underneath the video in the show comments or show more section, expand it. You'll see a video link. Uh, feel free to take this, modify it, use it in any application you want. Thank you.